Hi, my name is Jim Ang. I'm an officer in charge of a housing unit in Changi Prison Complex. My team and I have about 200 inmates under our charge. Today, I'll be answering some questions that you have asked on social media. The food that our prison kitchens prepares is on an industrial scale for about 5,000 inmates. It may never taste good as the food we eat at restaurants, but it will be a balanced diet that includes fruits during lunch and dinner, so inmates can receive sufficient nutrition. While I'm on duty, I do see some inmates who eat less rice but will finish up their meals if it's noodles. So this could be due to personal preferences. Yes, inmate cells have to be searched regularly by prison officers. This is to ensure the safety of prisons, inmates, staff and volunteers and also instill order and discipline amongst the inmates. Items not allowed to be kept by inmates are known as contrabands. Example of contrabands includes medication, improvised needles made from staple bullets and even origami made from materials issued for other purposes. Improvised needles can be used by inmates to make their own tattoos which may result in infections and also pose a health risk to themselves. Origami and other crafts can be used by inmates to hide contraband. We want to discourage inmates from hiding contrabands among their belongings, so inmates' personal items are intentionally made transparent, including their kit box, soap casing, slippers, and also their toothpaste. This helps prison officers look through the items during our checks. Some inmates can manage their stresses of incarceration better than others. Some like to exercise more to distress during their recreation yard when they are unlocked from their cells. For others who need more support, they can approach prison officers for help and be referred to our prison psychologists to talk through their anxieties. We also have programs which teach inmates how to manage their stress and cope better in prisons. Inmates can also apply to participate in art programs where they can express their feelings and thoughts artistically to manage their stress. Inmates typically have their recreation time outside their cells on weekdays. Before COVID-19, we can have up to 100 inmates being unlocked. On weekends, inmates who have opted for religious counselling will be unlocked for their sessions. The weekend recreation time is usually scheduled for those who participate in work programs and workshops on weekdays and are unable to utilise their recreation time. With competing needs and resources, scheduling to unlock inmates has to be prioritised to ensure the safety and security of prisons. Remission means inmate sentenced to more than two weeks imprisonments can be released earlier in view of their good conduct in prisons. In the past, remission system allowed for offenders to be released with no conditions after serving two-thirds of their sentence. It is now known as conditional remission system, which inmates can be imposed with conditions to comply after their release. And if they re-offend during the remission period, the court will take that into consideration and may give them a heavier sentence. The objective of the conditional remission system is to deter ex-offenders from re-offending. We have come to the end of the segment. Thank you very much for your questions. Please follow Singapore Prison Service on Facebook, Instagram and YouTube to find out more about the work of our prison officers. Thank you. Thank you.